Okay, good morning folks, and basically it is 10.29 a.m. Central, and we have our nice little object that is in the night sky. Uh, it doesn't matter, this is the East Coast. A lot of this stuff lately has been East Coast showing up, and there's our object that goes by, close object. I haven't even looked at the data yet. I'll pull it up in a second. Uh, last night, late, uh, I seen a comment, and I ended up staying up a lot later than what I wanted to because the idea that the audio did not play on this one here. Because <clears throat> we are going to, you need to go watch this video because the idea that this here object there that's still there, and I'm going to blow it up a little bit bigger and you'll be able to see it better. So we're going to go to full screen. But you need to go watch my one here of 2011 UG169. There won't be any sound, but the idea that you need to look at all the objects that are on the close path of Earth. There's some very interesting footage there, uh, i.e. why my audio didn't work. I played it ahead of time, just like anybody will do on screencast, and I had sound. Someone decided that I didn't need to have sound with my video because it might show you too much. We do have our Rigel Cantaris B close to us, okay? And there is tons of footage there that's going to show you earlier in the week of the idea that it's there early in the morning and it's what is basically coming up down at Palau and so I'll have some more videos today more than likely of showing that now this is that close object now this basically watch this image okay and then watch the clock let me pull and what I mean watch the clock is look at how short a period of time but just within a minute of how much action that one object does okay and there's very good proof that the idea that what I'm going to end up showing you that I originally seen from the volcano in Japan, that the idea that this might be the illuminator or one of the many, almost, I mean, there's tons, okay? We, uh, the scientist, everybody's admitted for years that we can't name all the stars out there. They're almost infinite. Well, folks, we have basically a very darn good image of the baby planet there that the idea that it almost looks like a fish and you can see the lips there on it yes you can see the lips on it and we are getting it illuminated down in the night sky in the east because that's this to Tahoma 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 03a it's out east I'm not gonna say the state getting myself in trouble right now because I get sick of researching but it's out east Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, it's uh, our area over there. If I left the state out, I apologize. So basically, there you go. There is a very nice image of what is basically probably in front of the sun at Palau. Okay? That is our object. Okay? And we have a close object that goes right over top of it today. This is footage from the 14th. Early this morning at 1 UTC Zulu, folks, okay? So at Zulu time, and as you can see, this object moves around because you will see it change, okay? And yes, it'll give you some freaky images. It'll look like a face on this side. Looks like a fish. There's all kinds of action in it. I.e., how long has man been around for crying out loud? Because it looks like it's almost like an object that some humanoid has put up there, okay? And yes, I am religious, so the religious folks... Calm down on your bench. Relax. So the idea that we have this image that with just in a minute it flops around a ton. Okay? Because you can see this image here flopping around. And that's our close object that goes by, gets caught in the square, and it shows you in the square. But keep an eye on this image there. Okay? And they don't want sound with this to show you that the idea that watch this a minute, a minute and nine forty. Okay? And it's going to play. And it's already played a little bit. Let me push it back all the way. There we go. And we should be able to get it to play again. And just check out how much this image changes in just that short amount of time. Okay. And you've seen where I got lucky and frozen and got the fish look on the other side. Okay. So it's a tumbler out there. It's our baby blue planet. And here you can see the porcupines and the, of whatever you want to call it. Just giving you redneck lingo here as we look at it. And basically everybody in Australia has sent us tons of pictures of it. All around the world have sent tons of pictures of it out on the internet. Okay, so it's out there. You can see it. Now watch. It'll flop and change, okay? So it moves and uh, rotates 
a lot and it rises and falls because this basically comes out south pole antarctica comes up in front of the sun at exactly around 1 to 3 UTC Zulu. And right now we got 109.41 UTC Zulu, okay? And then you go back and look at the last video, the third to the last. This, that means two videos before this video. The idea you will see all the footage that they didn't let the audio go out on, on the idea that me catching Rigel Canteris B basically showing up in the middle of the night. And if you go back to my other videos, you'll also see it too. So let me stop this to save some time on the video. Hang on. Okay, folks, so you'll also see the data in this video here, and the most thing is this ton of footage that's in there of me showing you the night sky shots, that this stuff shows up in the night sky between 1 to 3 Zulu UTC witch time over there, Greenwich time over in England, okay? But basically, it's over top of the United States. All this footage in this movie right here, 2011 UG169, is basically, and that was the AU, 0.081 AU was an object, and the idea that all the footage pretty much shows Rigel Canteris B showing up in the night sky, and basically is what's rising in front of the sun down in Palau, and you just seen the footage of the object up close, that basically we get illuminated over Earth at 1 to 3 Zulu UTC time, which is basically pushed back 6 hours, I believe, on the east coast time or uh, at least my central time in five hours east coast time okay so the idea that that is five hours of darkness before the sun and actually more than that because the sun doesn't come up until late right now in the fall okay so the idea that if you watch this one and i will show an image at the end of basically i'll go to that date of one of the dates that's basically showing you tons and watch this video watch that video because it shows you all that action and the idea that then i made this one here because i bumped in and seen all the objects basically we got an object in 2030 that the government is very much worried about hitting earth or becoming very close and we got a very fast and close object coming on the 20th of november here so watch this video this one and basically get through and watch all my videos they all connect up and see they don't like it because look at i'm gonna get a virus ha 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 not gonna get a virus okay and basically for in space you look at this one this is our space shuttle one of them and i know it's officer scott for damn sure astronaut scott because they're talking to him and then the idea that we have the Chinese footage that we got here that's got the baby blue on it. And we also have uh, the baby blue here. And they have broke me up. Uh, Kerasoft is, basically you can see the tag here. Let me go up. And they tag and do this crap here. And the idea that basically they've got me split up about 12 channels. Okay. So forget the counts that you see on the videos. They want to keep that down to make it look like that anything that I'm showing is not that much looked at. Well, it's looked at a lot more. So forget the counters, okay? Forget this. And it's bleeding more because the idea of the counters are going a little faster than what they can even control. But they've got me split up like 12 channels, okay? Uh, I.e. that the idea that when you go to my favorites, you'll see. I just basically, I know how to be able to read the idea that how many channels I got split up, okay? They've got Dutch split up a lot of channels too, which is scary because Dutch Sense has a very high count. But even with his high count, they've got him split up. So he's probably going out to, when you see a million on his count, forget it. He's got 10 million people seeing him, okay? More than likely. Yes, Dutch, you are infamous, okay? But relax, keep a small head, don't get a big head on your shoulders, okay? So anyway, everybody needs to go check all this stuff out. It's up there in space. Watch my videos. Uh, this one here today basically is going back to emphasize that the idea that someone decided to make sure that I didn't get sound going out on this, okay? 2011 UG169, okay? And then it's going to show you what I'm going to show you right now. Okay, to emphasize you, this is New Mexico sky, okay? Both of these are New Mexico sky. Close object there, okay? Close object there. There's our bell, and check the difference of the bell looking out on New Mexico sky earlier. So I'm just making sure that everybody understands when everybody tries to BS you and say, well, that the idea that it's some kind of street lights there or something like No, it's not. This stuff is showing up at night in the dark, and you can see it, okay? That's why, i.e., they knocked my sound down, okay? Now let's go to East Coast feeds, basically, which this is on the 10th, this action here, okay? I believe it's on the 10th. Let me see what I had highlighted. I'm pretty sure that that was the 10th 
Now, try not to. Everybody kind of knows why ain't you been showing out. So the idea that if you watch this video, you can kind of, yep, you get where it's going. Okay, so the idea, <coughs> not want to get the site overwhelmed, okay? So keep it under your hats, folks, on the idea of the address, okay? Don't get it overwhelmed, okay? Try to come here for the videos and then try to, you know, take a peek yourself every once in a while, but don't, honestly, don't want you to pass it out too much to the address. Now, this is the tell us, okay? And there is where the idea that is Rigel can Terrace B and see that you still have this here. And then just a minute ago, you just seen the bell action, which is this here, here. That the idea that if you watch the last video like I was telling you, but then there's the bell there too, okay? Now, did you see how that bell was flared out and it's more than likely an asteroid belt or a massive something up there in the sky? Now, did you see how that bell was flared out and had like lips on it out here and out there on the other video? On it basically just popped back real fast because it was the 10th. Yes, New Mexico sky is in a different position. And you see these arcs that we've seen up by the sun. And yes, this stuff is getting prismed down to Earth, okay? And this is in the middle of the night. All this stuff is middle of the night, looking at Earth. This is all looking at Earth. Now, you see how it's got more of a lip on the bell? And it's in the opposite direction on the New Mexico sky shots compared to the east. So it's still the same object, just different locations in the country at nighttime being able to see this, okay? And you even get this whole, and so the idea that this is possibly one of our supergiants that just bled through to me right here, right now. As you see this ring coming across in the sky at nighttime is showing. So the idea that you get an idea that the more than likely this is Rigel Cantaris B, which is 77%. There's our close object that came by at that time. This is 77% of the size of the sun. And then these are other supergiant suns that are way to hell back. And the idea that you are getting an illumination of something out in front of the sun at nighttime there could be one of our humongous. It could be, Ju I'll have to look and see if Jupiter, and this was at on the 10th and night of the 10th. So we'll try to peek at that real fast, okay? See if, if Jupiter was out there. Otherwise, this is one of our supergiant suns, and more than one of them, because you can see two rings of one of our supergiant suns is 74 times the size of the sun. It's in the supergiants, okay? Okay, our quickly, our uh, baby blue Kachina or whatever, the idea that, you know, or and then our, basically we, we are pretty much narrowed down and we're thinking that this is our object in front of it and that's more than likely is our baby blue Kachina that flips and flops around and you had a nicer shot of that just today and this is from the 10th again we're looking at. Okay, no, this is the 11th, okay, we're looking at here and the idea that you can see that Rigel Cantaris B is there. Rigel Cantaris B is there. And this is East Coast shots, okay? On the 14th, I just showed you what was there. On the 12th, there really wasn't too much stuff on the 12th, folks, if I remember right. We had something that was bled over on the 11th, late in the evening. Okay, so and then there, there's our little flopper again that's in front of the sun that comes down at Palau. There it is, and there is Rigel Cantaris B coming up, and there the flopper is in front of the sun, and there's our bell action. That basically, this is pretty much our baby blue planet, and it puts out a lot of images down on Earth. It gives us a lot of signals that it's coming, and there's a big of idea that a lot of objects that are up there in the supergiants, folks, and also between here and Earth, because check it out, okay? Because you get that photo shot in the middle of the night of a gigantic object that's out there in space, okay? There's a uh, Rigel Cantaris B also there. So the idea that it's bleeding through and the idea that the, it's just bleeding so hard because the idea that they stole my audio off the last, the second to the last, okay? There you go, and there's that flopper again. And the idea that you've seen the fish and the idea that it all matches up to what we were looking at of the comet that was coming by and everybody was like, okay, well there's, well more than likely, that is Nibiru that flops around a lot up there, okay? And no matter how close or far away Nibiru is, the idea that we are getting that on that little baby blue, okay? And very quick on the graph, folks, we've got lots of action today, the 14th, all around the world, pretty much. And we had a 3.7 last night, and let me look at that real quick. I wanted to show you something on that because we got some kind of an alignment on that of when something comes up at night that's causing that because we had a 3.7 in South Dakota, which is not that strange because i seen like a 2.2 and some 1.9s and 1.1s earlier this year in the spring, okay? Very solid ground shaking. So queuing this up and we're going to show you the 3.7 basically was hit in South Dakota last night and like I say earlier this spring there was 1.1 and we were getting some shaking up there, 2.2s and then we basically have expanded up to a 3.7 and it's in pretty much in a straight in line with 
as you see, up in Alaska, okay? And also down through Central America, 4.4. And just a few minutes ago, they had a 4.2 down in South Central America, down there. Brazil, something like that, down 4.2 down there. Okay, but you can see straight up, the straight line right here. Uh, Legal disclaimer.